flags are being flown at half mass across the country as a sign of mourning for a giant of the South, Minister of State for Finance, Economic Development and Investment, the Honorable Michael Espat. Last night, the 76 year old suffered a major heart attack at his Belmapan home and was taken to the Western Regional Hospital where he passed. Iron Mike as he was affectionately known, first appeared in the political scene in 1989 and was serving his sixth term in office at the time of his death. Despite his age and health issues, his passing came suddenly and shocked many, especially his Toledo East constituents and political comrades. His brother Luke says his pat died peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. He was preparing for the giving out of titles in Bea Vista on Thursday and felt some pain and came up yesterday and went to the hospital and died. What was Mike this? has had a couple of bouts with COVID and that was it. But that's because of his having been cured and go right back into the campaign mode yeah. and the areas, the hygienic requirements in the area is not what you would expect sometimes. Huh? Yeah. It is a real shocker. It is a real shocker because of your feelings. Espat is described as the true blue PUP who believed in the George Price philosophy of service throughout his political career. Senior parliamentarian Minister Francis Fonseca underscored that Espat was a lifelong PUP supporter who gained many nicknames over the years. Um, they call him Iron Mike. They call him Big Mike, Lion of the South. Um, you know, Minister Mike, but above all, uh, you know, we will always remember him as uh, a true servant of the people, a man who uh, dedicated his, really his entire uh, adult life uh, to public service and um, in particular to serving the people of, of Toledo, the people of the South, the people of Toledo East. We, we knew he was not doing well, you know, when he was unable to participate in the the budget debate, we knew that um, it was serious because uh, Minister Mike would never miss a budget debate. So we knew he was really um, not doing well. But still, uh, you know, we were we were shocked um, to learn last evening um, of his of his passing. Social media platforms are filled with messages of condolences, gratitude, and recollections of fond memories. Dr. Francis Arzu, a well-known PG resident, spoke of Espat's instrumental role in the development of education in Toledo. Um, he has done so much. Words cannot express the amount of work the Honorable Michael Espat has done uh, in the Toledo district, Toledo East, and of course the country. You know, road infrastructure, land distribution in the Toledo district, amazing. Uh, he has done well. He has done exceptionally well. Uh, he has served well. We were presently working with him in the village of Barranco, sorting things out, getting, uh, you know, he was a part of the, uh, the the renovation and, of course, the improvement of the roads. And, uh, you know, he, the man has done his part. He has done well. And now, you know, um, we celebrate his passing on to a more positive state. Espat is the only politician to be re-elected consecutively in the Toledo East constituency. His colleague and friend, Toledo West A representative Oscar Rekenya, served alongside Espat since 2012 and says the politician's success was driven by his grassroots approach and love of service. That Minister Mike was very instrumental in, you know, moving a lot of people from the rural areas into Punta Gorda. And as a result of that, because he wanted to ensure that, you know, the people from the, the young people from the rural areas would be able to go to secondary school at the sixth farm. He opened up two new areas in Punta Gorda, essentially the Indianville area. And, um, you know, he also opened up the Hopeville area and he made land available. His spot was an educator during his early years and later moved into the political arena to transform the South. And according to his brother, he did exactly that. And in that time, there were no roads, sufficient roads anyway, farmers' roads, land possession, um, opportunities for students to further education. And Mike pioneered all those areas, including the establishment of the university in Punta Gorda for higher education, 
when you had to go to the villages, you had to go by either river on sea at the time. Today you can drive to Otosha or Mahachila. Hundreds of residents say they have fond and joyous memories of his spot as he spent decades getting to know the people in his constituency. Fonseca recalls the love his spot had for the South and the love it gave him back. You know, personally, I will always remember, um, you know, traveling to the South and having the opportunity to, to tour the Southern villages with, with Minister Mike, you know, and to relax, um, you know, hammock with him from time to time and just chat about, you know, believe, believe in development and, and the challenges we face as a country. And perhaps apart from his Pat's family, the ones who will miss him the most are his die-hard supporters like Beatrice Ba, who says his spot will be remembered as a true champion of the people. He still have a lot of visions for his people. And that is what I know who is Mr. Mike. He was there for the poor people. And I really thank him a million times of what he do with the people. Okay. He sympathized. He was there for the, for us, the poor people. He helped a lot of people. In general, he helped us. Mm -hmm. Nobody will forget what Mr. Espat did. The office of the Prime Minister also issued a statement saying Espat was a true warrior for Belize. It was always Belize first for him and then PUP. The South will miss him and so will the PUP. Vigilvers, Love News.